how can we create groove inside the raw minimal track with swing of course but also i want to show you something else that i call fast sequenced mid bass lines which can create driving groove inside a track so in this video we go over the key elements of those fast sequenced groove elements Hey friends, Luano here from RoughFitStudio.com. Let's quickly talk about sample packs. I think they are great for inspiration, but I don't like the fact that they are limited in order of customization. So what I mainly use loops for is to spice up a track with some hidden elements like uh, percussion, effects, soundscapes and so on, right? So talking about inspiration, I came up with a track idea and then I added this what they call it groove element inside a sample pack, right? So here's a quick audio example. So then I thought, okay, that sounds very nice and gives a real groove to the track, but also the question or thought popped up on how can I actually gain the knowledge to do such things for myself and use that gain skill set for future tracks. And of course, not just me, but you as well, right? So I experimented a little bit and in this video you will get the answer on how you can create those groove elements like this one in a quick and easy way so let's jump over to Ableton. Just before we start I quickly want to mention my softball snappy Romanumo Ableton live kick template it's inspired by a lot of Romanian artists like uh, Petrin Spirescu, Barak, Vid. Basically you can not just make it soft you can make it long short whatever you like you can pitch it up pitch it down pitch it to you baseline it's really easy because the note is already written in there so if you want it, go and grab it for free under the link below. And uh, yeah, now let's jump over to Ableton. Okay, what I want to talk about in this video is what they call groove elements inside the sample pack. So let's have a quick listen here. Um, something like that. This one is my very personal groove element, what I call it. It's in context. Take it out quickly. Bring it in again. So you get the idea now what I was using to create it was a reactor this uh, groove box called aerobic <coughs> um, it's inside the reactor library and you have many groove boxes in there they're all really great in my opinion but uh, at the moment I work mostly with aerobic and I showed you this already in another video I guess alright let's make one from scratch here so really quickly really quickly we have a 16 step sequence here and you might think it's 16 steps is a little bit too little too short you know but it's okay because what I do is I just bang in a sequence here and then I tweak some buttons here to create some kind of variation maybe even adapt some steps inside here and then I would record it to a separate audio channel so it's already printed to audio here so we have an oscillator here we have another um, source of audio here noise 
and then we have an EQ and we have a master section and we have very important modulation setting with different um, settings of sources to where we can modulate stuff so oscillator for example this one or FM mode and we do that with this modulation grid here and uh, yeah let's run that Let's add a little bit of swing. And there is some roll setting. Let's try that. Don't like it. Let's maybe. basically can mix both uh, audio sources here oscillator and noise if we want to we can just use the oscillator just that kind of a top snappy thing with this noise setting here Something like that. Then let's add some other stuff. Okay, we already create some groove, I would say. Just again, 16 note steps, a little bit swing, 
and uh, yeah some modulation already gives quite a bit of groove I would say and now the magic happens here with some effects right let's have a listen again Two, we can also add another sequence here another unit what they call I have we have basically six units here right now I only have one maybe we can bring in another one uh, let's see. was fun let's add another one
Now we will probably do some live recordings here. Um, yeah, just for the break, as you could hear. Maybe I would long the decay or whatever. that that's nice <laughs> yeah I hope this gives you some perspective again I used 16 steps um, yeah some faster moving um, sequence then we added swing spice it up with some effects corpus um, some LFOs assigned to to certain um, buttons here and then just using LFO with the random setting and then a simple grain delay and that's what we ended up with Man, I can't stop tweaking right now. <laughs> Just got some ideas for a new track. But instead of using aerobic here, you could probably also use just uh, Ableton's uh, mono sequencer paired with some, I don't know, maybe wavetable synth, whatever, FM operator synth from Ableton Live, and then assign some LFOs to different sources. The underlying concept is really using 16 sixteenth um, notes and uh, making them fast and adding swing and effects on it and of course some modulation and then maybe some live recording of it to create some organic feel to it uh, some movement to let it even more groove my question can you do that yeah, of course you can test it, experiment a little bit with quicker notes, some modulation, some swing, some effects, and see how it can create some groove for your very own track, right? Also, I wanted to th thank you for everyone who comments on those videos and give some likes. This really motivates me. Thanks again for your time and all the best. Have fun with it. Hope this sparks some inspiration. And don't forget to download my soft but snappy Roman Mo Ableton Live kick template. If you don't have it right now, go and download it for free. It's uh, under the link below. And let's make some music. Have fun. Cheers. Cheers.